Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. And please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying on all 25 of the brand new shade extension of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velvet Trap lipsticks. So something very unfortunate happened to me. For the first time ever, I've posted over 100 videos on YouTube. This has never happened before, but my files got corrupted. So this video is mainly going to consist of a voiceover. I was luckily able to salvage all of the swatches that I did of the lipsticks from my memory card. And I know that's the main reason you guys want to see this video. So we're just going to continue and push forward. So definitely bear with me. For today's video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the brand new Velvet Trap shade extension. I'm going to be trying on all 25 shades so you get a real close up look of how the shades look on the lips. I am freaking obsessed with these new 25 shades. In my opinion, they're a hundred times nicer than the original shades he put out when he first introduced us to the Velvet Trap formula. I love them. There are so many beautiful reds and nudes to pick from, which are clearly my favorites as those are majority of what most people wear really. So if you want to see these 25 brand new shades in action, then please keep watching. Okay. Now, before we jump into actually showing these beautiful lip swatches, what I wanted to do with you guys is share a little bit of juicy gossip. So I recently had to change the PR address that I received my Jeffree Star Cosmetics PR packages from. So I had to actually message Jeffree. As terrifying as that was, I messaged him to let him know of the address change and he was so freaking nice, so kind back. He changed it no problem, but he also gave me a little hint as to what's coming from the brand that I had to share with you guys. So first of all, in a couple weeks, he did actually mention this on his Instagram stories, but there's going to be a shade extension of the Velour Liquid Lipsticks, his original lipstick formula. I am so excited to see what we're gonna get. There's already so many shades, so I'm super curious to see that. Definitely stick around and stay tuned because I will, of course, be trying all 25 of those on as well. What he told me is gonna have you shook. So he said that the shade extension is coming, but he also said that the next big collection will be coming in July and it's going to be big and colorful. So I'm thinking that means we're gonna get a big colorful palette. A while ago, Ian made a concept palette called Blood Pressure because we noticed that he had trademarked that name. So we made this. I really think this is what we're gonna get. I don't think it's gonna be the typical 18 pan. I think it'll be like the size of Jawbreaker and Cremated. I am so freaking excited. I have a feeling it's gonna be like Jawbreaker sister, if you will, except the absolute neon version. If we're right and it's a neon palette, I will freak out. I'm gonna tell you that guys, right now I will freak out. So definitely stay tuned for that. Some amazing things are coming from the brand. All right, now let's talk about these beautiful velvet traps. Now I did go into more depth in my first video. I will link that up here for you guys. I did an original video of the velvet trap formula. I reviewed it. I tried on all 20 of the original shades. So if you're curious about any shades that aren't in this video, definitely take a look. That will also be listed in the description section if you don't catch that link. But because I have to do a voiceover, I'm not gonna go super duper into depth, but I will briefly touch on the packaging. As you can see here, the original lip ammo, which Velvet Trap is a spin on that, came in a very cheap packaging in my opinion. Given that the brand usually gives us such over the top packaging, I really feel like this was a cheapy kind of very light plastic. So he revamped it now with the new Velvet Trap. It is a metal component. It has a magnetic slide aspect to it. So the lid just automatically snaps closed and it is so, so nice. It feels so luxe in your hands. I love the frosted pink on pink. It's so freaking beautiful. Now the actual outer packaging, it slides up and down. I love how he always keeps the packaging so innovative. I love the way it looks, how on one side it says velvet, one side it says trap, super duper pretty. And the actual lipstick itself, can we talk about how beautiful the embossment looks on it? It really, really, really takes it to that next level for me. As we know, brands come out with like a million and one products. It's these small little attention to detail aspects that Jeffree Star Cosmetics, in my opinion, puts into their brands that really takes the items to the next level. You don't feel like you're just using a lipstick. You feel like you're using something so grand and beautiful, and it really makes the experience 10 times more enjoyable, in my opinion. But the 
embossment is so freaking pretty. I was shook the first time I saw it. I love it. The price of these bad boys is also pretty decent. Each lipstick goes for $18 US and $28 Canadian, which is very average, fair price. Totally down with that. The formula, let's just briefly touch on that. So I'm gonna outright say this right now. If you wanna put on a lipstick in the morning and have it absolutely unscathed, did not budge all day, this is not going to be the formula for you. In my opinion, it's the nicest Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick formula that he offers. But if you want something that's really gonna last, not gonna budge, I would instead suggest you try the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. They are a lot drier, they adhere a lot more to your lips. With the Velvet Traps, we're getting a lot smoother of a formula. It's a lot more emollient, so you're not getting those cracky, dry lips. You are still getting an aspect of matte though. They're not outwardly shiny like the way the Supreme Glosses are. It's still a matte lip, but it's not gonna wear as long as the Velour Liquid Lipstick. Obviously, that goes without saying it will transfer when you put your mouth to anything of course but in my opinion the way that these wear is so freaking beautiful what you get is like a kind of ombre moment it fades in the middle of your lip and goes down i think that these wear so beautifully i rarely have to touch up when i do wear it unless i have like a really intense meal i personally like the way it looks when it's worn a little bit better because i love the dimension it gives to the lip it is absolutely a stunning formula i always 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 say it, but it is my favorite lip formula from the brand it will continue to be my favorite lip formula unless he comes out with something else and can we talk about the smell oh oh it is so yummy and delicious a lot of his things smell great I'd, i'm not a huge fan of root beer but these specifically smell like creme brulee and they are to die for i am obsessed with the way these smell i almost want to eat them off my lips truly but the smell again is not so overwhelming that when you put it on it's all you can smell and you can smell it all day i would say it dissipates but when you're originally putting it on it is there and it's beautiful all right let's jump into the part you've been waiting for let's get into these swatches so so we're gonna start out with the reds. The first red I have on here is Red Rum, a true classic. It's absolutely beautiful and a staple in anyone's collection. The next shade is Cherry Wet. Then we have Cherry Soda. Oh my God, so beautiful. Then we have the shade Prick, which of course is after the shade that's in the Blood Sugar palette. Then we have Red Affair, which I'm not going to lie, guys, this is probably my new go-to red. It's the perfect undertone on my skin tone. I think it looks so beautiful. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think looks best on me. I would love to hear your opinion. Then we have Designer Blood, followed by Major Attitude. Now we're going to jump into some of the bright colors. The first one here is Easter Sunday. I'm going to outright say it. This is not a favorite of mine. It looks patchy. It looks strange. I might use it on my eye as a yellow base if I was going in for a yellow look. Other than that, I can't really see myself reaching for this one. I just don't think it's flattering on the lips, as you can see for yourself. Then we have the shade Orange Prick followed by the shade Laced Cake, which this is so freaking beautiful. All of my OG makeup lovers are gonna know, but this reminds me of MAC Cosmetics, the shade Snob. So pretty, so flattering, and such a vibe. Then we have Jeffree's Nudes, which in my opinion, yes, is very light on me, but I would definitely use it to ombre my lips. I would put this in the center because it makes your lips look so juicy. This is the perfect kind of shade for that. Extending the olive branch. Gardening hoe. Celebrity skin OG, which I'm gonna be honest, it still isn't the original, original celebrity skin shade in my opinion. I might have had something that maybe it oxidized over time and it was slightly darker. I still absolutely love this. I will use it all the time. It's way closer to the original celebrity skin than the first Velvet Trap shade for sure though, I will say that. Then we have Jeffrey's personal favorite and his go-to nude for the summer, Wyoming Iced Tea, followed with Plastic Surgery, Libra Lynn, Kumquat, 
paleontologist, which this shade had me a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be my new go-to nude. It ended up being a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, and it didn't quite flatter my skin tone. But again, this is a great shade for me to use as an ombre. And also, if you're lighter skin tone than me, this could look totally different on you. This was one of the shades I was most excited for. I just wish it was a little bit darker. Then we have I'm Daddy, Ranch Girl, Planting roses, which I, I, I hate to do this. I hate to report this, but I was freaking obsessed with this shade. This has to be top three, the best out of the new 25 shades, in my opinion. But, but guys, look at the way this balled up inside of the lipstick component when I was trying to put it on. It's giving me Jaclyn Hill vibes. I didn't want to say it. I don't obviously think anything negative about the brand. I do think Jaclyn Hill's had a whole slew of other issues, but look at this. This literally only happened with this shade. I didn't experience this with any of the other shades. So just a little heads up for everyone out there. I obviously am never going to serve you with anything but the truth. This shade was a little bit wonky. Then we have a true classic and my first ever velour liquid lipstick shade from the brand androgyny this is absolutely stunning as always then we have man down obsessed with this color i will wear this 24 7 and the last one grave digger all right guys that was all 25 of the shades i personally love red affair i freaking love man down there are some staple colors in there that i'm gonna reach for 24 7 and i truly hope this video helped you hone in on which colors you want to go for which one you want to avoid and a little bit about the formula itself that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching again i apologize for it being in this format this is the first time this has ever happened to me i do know it happens to youtubers all the time and i just thought i was lucky the whole time apparently not so yeah guys that is it please stay tuned i will be doing an unboxing of the shane dawson merch mystery box very soon that will be going up on my channel please give this video a like if you haven't already please leave me a comment what did you think of these new shades do you own any of the velvet traps and which ones are you going for let's start a discussion in the comment section and of course as always if you haven't already please make sure you're subscribed it really helps me out when you guys subscribe and i will catch you on the next video. Bye guys.